I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body. With the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our body. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. As we continue to flutter our eyes downward, relaxing in silent meditation before natural breaths. Two more breaths. Allowing our palms to flow to the sides of our bodies. Our palms are connected to the yoga mat as we are tuning into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, you may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, coming into that seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Methoding that spine, shoulders flows up towards the ears, interlacing those fingers. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating those palms. We are now in our seated extended mountain. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. We are in that seated twist. Connecting that left hand to that right knee if you choose to go deeper in that twist. With the eyes, gaze down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Chin is up, breathe in. Exhale. Twist the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, connecting that right hand to that left knee if that feels good. Allowing the body to soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Breathe into that extended mountain, palms above the head. They are not together. As we lean our bodies towards the right, seated side bend. Feeling this stretch here in the side body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Allowing that right hand to come downward towards the earth. Going deeper in that side bend, if that feels good for you. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming lean in the body towards the left, feeling that side bend, opposite side. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Allowing that left hand to come downward towards the earth as that right arm goes deeper over that head, feeling that nice deep stretch in the side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhaling back to center. Come into our seated salute. Breathing the palms together. Exhale, prayer. Palms come down that heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. <sighs> Taking this time to go inwards. Focus on going south. Two more breaths. As we breathe our feet in a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connected. And our diamond, our feet are closer towards our bodies. It's a nice deep hip opener. And our, I'm sorry, and our butterfly, yes, our feet are closer to our bodies. And our diamond, our feet are further away. They both are hip openers. Allowing the palms to relax on the ankles or the feet. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up as our head slightly relaxes, so flows towards our shoulder blades. Coming into a bound cow pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our calf, bringing our chin to our clavicle as our spinal cord flows towards the back of the room. Tummies are tucked at our navel, three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our bound position, diamond or butterfly, as we slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it deeper here in the inner thighs. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. As our shoulders melt forward and our head relaxes downward towards our feet. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our back position, using our hands to breathe our legs inward as we straighten our legs in a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Our toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Backs are nice elongated here. As we are gaze forward with that tummy tucked in, relaxing our palms on our lips. Gaze in the eyes downward. Taking this time to notice how we feel in our present moment. Going inward, focusing on self. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Three breaths of silence. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our chanute, feeling that stretch. Chin is up. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. We can reach our palms down to our ankles or the lower parts of our feet if we choose. We also can allow our torso to come closer to our thighs, coming into that complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. You'll feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. As we take nice, subtle breaths with our eyes, gaze down the close. May we relax and soothe. Maybe pointing those toes downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch a little deeper. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale enough to have forward fold as we come back up to our staff pose. Breathing that right knee in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. As we cross this right foot over that left leg. Taking this right hand behind our backs with our fingers facing away from us. We're gonna take this left elbow, cross it over that right leg, gazing over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist or Sage Marici three holes. Allowing the eyes to gaze down, feel that spinal cord twist and decompress. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
legs, hugging back the center, stretching that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Breathing that left knee up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna cross this left foot over that right thigh. Bringing this left hand behind our backs, fingertips faces away from us. Crossing this right arm over that left knee as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist. Sage so reaching three opposite sides. Allowing the eyes to gaze down, taking natural breaths. Feeling the spinal cord relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming back to that staff pose. Hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold or complete forward fold if that feels good for you. Allowing those eyes to gaze down, take a nice subtle breath as we soothe and relax. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to center. Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come to a tabletop pose. Coming on to our hands and our knees. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to cow, allowing that tummy to come downward towards the earth, you'll feel this dip in your lumbar spine, cow pose. Chin is slightly up. This is great for no back pain. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to cat, bringing that chin to clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the heavens, tucking that tummy in at our navel. Three breaths. Lowing back the cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight as we are walking our dog, cuddling our feet left and right. We are building strength in our arms, three more breaths. Finding pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale onto our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. We are on our tummies, on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, meaning we are not shrugged here in our sphinx. Having control of that body. Chin is up, their heart chakra is open. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. The Sphinx pose relaxes and soothes the lumbar spine, the lower back. Taking this time to gaze the eyes downward and go inward. Relaxing, silent meditation, three breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our chest, elbows are slightly bent, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. This is a little deeper of a back bend. Chin is up. As we straighten our elbows, coming into that cobra, torso comes further away from the earth. Chin is up. Exhale, up dog, untucking those toes, taking the thighs off the earth. Up dog, chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. As we find our pause, walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Allowing that body to relax over the thigh, head melts down. Feeling that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. We are lengthening and soothing the body here. Taking a nice, subtle breath. 
exhale. Allowing the body to reach downward towards the earth. Feeling the shoulder blades melt downward. <clears throat> Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, backs are still elongated. Two more breaths. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. As we exhale back down to a complete forward fold, maybe connecting our hands to our ankles. Bringing our legs slightly further apart, coming into a nice wide legged forward fold. Optioning to flow into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows if that feels good for you. And we can sway or we'll rock our body from side to side in that rag doll. Noticing that when we sway and rock, you'll we'll feel that behind your legs and your hamstrings a little more. Going deeper into that stretch. Soothing and relaxing the body. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our palms at center, coming into a half forward fold. We are still wide legged, slightly gazing forward. Backs are still straight. Exhaling up, coming into a Tadasana, wide legged mountain pose. <sighs> Breathing our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch. Chin is up. Interlacing the fingers with the chin slightly up, allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated as our bodies lean towards the right. Exhale back to center. Bodies lean towards the left. Exhale back to center, breathing the palms together. As we walk our feet together, we are now in our standing salute. Palms are above our head. Breathing to our prayer, relaxing our palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. Using this time to go inward as our feet are planted and rooted into the earth. Always being planted and always being rooted in our lives. Knowing who we are and knowing where we are going. Being firm and strong in who we are. As we relax here, go into silent meditation, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we slowly lift that left foot off the earth, we're just working on our balance here, taking that left foot off the earth. If that feels well, maybe we can place our left foot on the inner lower parts of our thigh. Tree pose, we are in that low tree. Or we can breathe that left foot up high in that inner thigh and come into a higher tree. Whatever feels best for you here, we are gonna work on balancing and strengthening because in life, it's about balance. Balance is the key for us to succeed and move to new levels. We must balance everything in our lives to continue to move forward. As we are balancing here today, 
They would take a moment to go in. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, slowly relaxing that leg down, coming into that Tadasana Mountain Pose. Heart chakras open, chin is up, breathe in. Exhale. Breathing our palms back at heart center, standing prayer. Lifting that right foot off the earth. We are now working on balancing the left leg, left side. Strengthening the body. If we choose, we can place this right foot on the lower parts of that left leg. Or we can breathe our leg up to that inner thigh. We are in our tree pose, opposite side. Balancing and strengthening here. We are also focusing. Working on what we want in life and where we want to go in life. Being aware and being mindful. As we continue to balance. Three more breaths. Two breaths. No exhaling out. Coming back into that Tadasana. Palms are at the side. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. As we slightly pulse up on our tippy toes. We are working the lower parts of our feet, our ankles. We're also countering, counter stretching the muscles we just worked by pulsing up and down on our tippy toes. Maybe pulsing up, holding it for a couple breaths. And pulsing it back down to a flat foot. Pulsing it back up, we're going to work at every angle and every muscle here in our body. Exhaling back down, relaxing. Breathing palms at heart center as the eyes gaze down the close. Slightly hinging at the hips, hand forward, fold, prayer hands. Backs are straight, chin is up. You may feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, chair pose, we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here, filling this chair. We can extend our arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair, if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms inward. As we twist our bodies towards the right, chairs pose twist. Chair pose twist right side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Two more breaths, building strength. Exhale, half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. Breathe down to a complete forward fold if that feels good for you. Head relaxes downward towards the earth. Feeling that body stretch and lengthen here. Two more breaths. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our legs towards the back, down dog. Holding this pose, two more breaths. Exhaling forward, high plank. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Breathe back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe our right foot, our right hand, runners lunge. 
Yes, feeling the movements here. We're gonna drop that left knee down to the earth, low lunge. Feeling that stretch here in the body. As we push our torso away from our thigh, breathing our arms above our head, crescent lunge. Palms together, heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, frame in the front foot with your hands. Taking that knee off the earth, back to run is lunge. Straightening that front leg, flowing into a pyramid pose. Feeling that stretch behind your legs. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. Take a nice subtle breath here. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, front is lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog as we pedal our feet left and right. Finding our pause. We're gonna breathe that left foot to left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Feeling that stretch here. Two breaths. As we lower that right knee down, coming into that low lunge. Feeling that stretch. <sighs> Freshen the body away from the thigh. Breathing the arms above the head. Crescent lunge. Feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Interlacing the hands together if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that right knee off the earth, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso and head relaxes over that thigh. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. As we find our pause, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. Breathing to our mountain pose, standing nice and tall to Dasana. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute, palms together. Exhale, prayer hands, palms come heart center. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Tension at the hips, half forward fold. Reaching our palms down to the earth, complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, feet together, down dog. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, run this lunge. And this time we're gonna breathe this right hand inside of that right thigh. Both palms are flat on the earth. Like we're working on that lizard pose. But we're not gonna flow into lizard here today. We're gonna lift this right arm up, twisting the body towards that right thigh. Revolve, twist. Feeling that twist, feeling that stretch, yes. It's called the revolve twist because our body's twisted towards our leg. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back center, both palms are flat on the earth. Palms are inside of that thigh. As we twist our bodies towards the left, left arm goes up towards the heavens. Feel the next stretch. Now we are in that little lunge twist. Three more breaths. Two 
two breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe that left foot, left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. We're gonna breathe this left hand inside of that left thigh. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we revolve, twist, twisting that left arm up in the air, twisting that body towards that left thigh. Left arm reaches up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch and twist here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. Twisting the body opposite side, left arm reaches up towards the heavens. Body twists towards, right arm reaches up towards the heavens, bodies twist towards the right. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Both palms on the earth. Breathe, down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. But ox is high in the air, we are still gazed to the back of the room. We are building strength in our forearms. This is also a headstand prep pose. Five breaths. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good for you. Maybe walking the feet slightly closer towards the body. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, keeping our buttocks high in the air. Puppy poles, torso comes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the yoga mat, forehead. Connected to the yoga mat. Heart chakra is coming closer to the earth, connecting and soothing, regulating that heartbeat. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward to the earth. Allowing the eyes to close or flutter down. Taking a moment to simply check with self. Check for oneself. Being kind and loving always itself. As we relax, we are silent meditation for six natural breaths. Optioning to breathe the palms above the head, flowing into a prayer hands, puppy pose if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Extending the arms back in front of us if we are in our prayer hands with our palms flat on the earth. We're going to spine away our bodies out of our puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Spine away, then decompressing that entire spine. Feeling free to add your head and neck into the movement. Feeling the motions like we are on a swing, swinging on a swing set. Now that whole body to become one in the movement. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center. Coming back to tabletop pose. We're gonna drop down to cow. 
exhale cat lower back to our table pushing our bodies to our up dog gazing at the feet breathing that right foot to that right hand runner's lunge straightening that front leg coming into a pyramid and as we come up to our triangle connecting that right hand to that right angle Right hand to right ankle, lifting that left arm up in the air. Triangle pose, feeling that stretch. Balancing and soothing here, three more grabs. Optioning to use a yoga block in your triangle if that feels good for you. Twisting the body forward, coming back to that pyramid. Exhale back, front is lunge. Breathe down, dog. Gazing at the feet. As we bring that left foot to left hand, run us lunge, opposite side. Straightening that front leg, coming into a pyramid. As we breathe that left ankle, that left hand to that left ankle. Twisting that right arm up in the air, feeling that twist and that stretch, triangle, opposite side. Lengthening and stretching here, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back forward, coming into that pyramid. Exhale, run his lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down dog. Exhale into high plank, building strength in our arms. Breathe back down dog. As we walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Exhale in half, forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana, mountain pose. As we bring our legs slightly apart, let's make it nice and wide-legged. Nice wide-legged stance here. As we point our toes outward towards the edges of the yoga mat, bringing our hands into cactus hands. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Exhaling down to goddess stance, bending those knees. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. Goddess stance. Heart chakras open, shit is up. Breathing our palms above our heads, keeping that goddess stance and that goddess salute. Palms above the head. Exhale down the goddess prayer, palms at heart center. Exhale back to cactus hands. Two more breaths. Exhale up, standing star, straightening those legs. Palms come out towards the side, standing star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling strong and firm and planted in life as we are rooted and true to who we are. Here in our star poles, in our darkest days, darkest nights, we will always shine bright. Knowing where we, knowing where we are, knowing where we are going. Being content and happy in our moments as we continue to walk our path in life. Guided by the stars, guided by the light. Always being firm and humble as we reach our goals and succeed to new levels, being true to ourselves. Breathe in. Exhale. Double back to that goddess stance, bending those knees, coming into cactus hands for the goddess in us. Feeling strong, feeling powerful. We are goddesses. For the males, we are gods. 
from building strength as we rock that body from side to side. Working those muscles throughout our quads, our gluteus maximus, our hamstrings, our calves, feeling the muscles work, coming power. As we find our pose at center, we're gonna pulse that body up and down, continuing to build strength, continuing to grow, getting stronger and stronger every day. Two more breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head now down towards the earth. Feel yeah, that stretch. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling that body soothe. This is a counter stretch to the muscles we just worked. Relaxing and soothing. Optioning to flow into a rag dial by hugging the elbows with your hands and maybe even rocking or swaying from side to side, if that feels good for you. Five breaths. more breaths. Exhale up half forward fold. We are still nice and wide and As we take this left hand, connect this left hand to that right ankle, bringing this right hand behind our backs like we're doing our thread the needle, gazing over that right shoulder. Feel that cross body stretch here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center and forward fold. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, bringing this left one behind our backs like we're doing our thread the needle, gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling that cross body stretch and twist, soothing and relaxing that spine. You'll feel the stretch behind your legs as well. Lifting it and soothing here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, backs are nice and straight. Feeling that stretch, we are lifting it here. Breathe in. Exhale, complete forward fold, allowing that head to melt down. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together. Damn dog. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. We are gaze at the back of the room. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing our torso to come closer to the earth. Heart chakras connecting to the earth, maybe. Third eye chakra forehead is also connecting to the earth. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling the shoulder blades melt forward. Heart chakras connecting. Third eye chakras connecting to the earth. Using this time to go and using this time to see self, see who we are, who we want to be. Go and be kind to self, non judging yourself, knowing how we feel in our present moment as we relax in this silent meditation. Very natural practice.
three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Three spinal waves. Finding our paws at center, coming into a tabletop pose. Palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to cow, chin is up, thumbies come closer to the earth. Flowing to our cat. Back to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks in a seated pose. Just for a second, we're gonna come onto our backs, breathing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth, allowing that body to relax and soothe and connect to our environment. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles, our toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens, like a ballerina's foot. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Our buttocks may come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. We can option to go up to a wall and keep our legs up on the wall and stay here. Or we can breathe our knees to our chest and come into a happy baby. With our feet up in the air, our hands come between our thighs, connecting our hands to our feet if that feels good. We are nailing that happy baby. This is a hip opener. Now in this pose to see As we option to rock the body from side to side, allowing the earth to relax and soothe and massage your spinal cord. Or we can stay still in our happy baby or maybe we're up on the wall with our legs on the wall. Whatever you choose, we are freestyling here. Five more breaths, happy baby. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up on the wall, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. As we come wide legged, using our hands to breathe our legs apart, feeling that stretch here in the inner thigh. Nice deep stretch. We can option to bring our hands to our toes if that feels good for you. Kind of like every ball bear pose. Or we just be nice and wide legged. Whatever feels good. Two more breaths. Using the hands to breathe the legs back inward. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, knees to chest. Holding this position, we're going to allow our knees to fall or flow towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, left side, feeling the knees flow. The spinal cord is twisting and soothing, decompressing as our right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase T. We are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over that right shoulder. Going deeper in that twist as our shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Body is soothed. Eyes are gazed down or closed. 
as we take nice subtle breaths, relaxing and silent meditation. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back the center, bringing the knees to the chest, hugging them in. Holding this position as our knees flow towards the right. Recline, spinal twist, right side. Feeling that spine. Twist and suit as our left arm comes out to the side like lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that left shoulder. Shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat as our bodies continue to melt with the earth, melt with the earth, connect with the earth. Eyes are fluttered downward. Take a nice soft breath here. Four more breaths. Relax. Exhale back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathing the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Pointing those toes up towards the heavens. Breathing the legs towards the torso, legs to torso stretch, reverse. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Keeping our knees up in the air. We're gonna bring our feet flat on the earth. Knees in the air, feet are flat on the earth. We're gonna work on our bridge pose. Placing our palm flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're gonna use our palms and our feet to pelvic tilt, lifting that pelvic bone up in the air. You'll feel that gluteus maximus, that buttocks muscles squeeze and tighten here. Now we are rounding and lengthening. I'm sorry, we are rounding and tightening that gluteus maximus. We can bring our hands underneath our buttocks if we choose, interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine as our torso comes higher in the air, as well as our hip bone. Now we are in that deep bridge. You'll feel that gluteus maximus get even tighter here. As we pulse that body up and down, firming and toning the gluteus maximus, we also can flow into a three-legged bridge by taking the right foot off the earth and relaxing it on that left thigh or extending it up in the air. And then we'll switch sides if that feels good. Or we can simply just hang out in our bridge. Whatever feels best for you. Six more breaths freestyling in our bridge pose. Rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. Rounding and tightening. And we're also lifting, lifting that buttocks up. <sighs> feel that squeeze. You may feel that burn as you slightly pulse it down and then pulse it back up. Squeeze, squeeze. That buttocks muscle is one of the biggest muscles, if not the biggest muscle in our body. So we can squeeze it and we can work it and we can build it and we can tighten it. 
Fill the neck, squeeze. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Pulsing it down. Squeezing it back up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. We're going to do a bonus. Two more breaths. Uninterlacing those fingers. Untucking those shoulders. Breathing the hip bone back down to the earth. As we breathe those knees into the chest, hugging them in. Feel the next squeeze. Breathe in. Exhale. Bringing those legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing those toes. As we bring our legs towards our torso, legs to body stretch, but not to slightly off the earth. Exhale, back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As we extend our legs parallel side by side, Shavasana. Legs are parallel. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our thighs. Feeling the shoulder blades melt back to the yoga mat. Wrapping the body up with the blanket if that feels good. Eyes are gaze downward or closed. The heartbeat is regulating. Relax. Feeling the shoulders just completely relaxed, melting to the other. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes gaze down the floors, we're gonna roll on to our side, coming into a fetal pose. Relaxing and soothing here for four more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles, moving our buttocks and our hips, slowly awakening the body. But we can option to stay in our fetal pose for our Shavasana if that feels good for you. If we choose, we can come up to a seated pose. If we choose, using our hands to lift our bodies up. Coming into any seated pose of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. For those who are in a seated pose, tummies are tight. Backs are nice and long gates. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the knee. Our chin is relaxed. Facial muscles are relaxed. Forehead is relaxed. 
as we breathe the palms at heart center, slightly gaze in the eyes down or closing them at this point. Breathe in deeply. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing. When we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. Peace and blessings be to you. Love and light. Namaste.